This is Chef. And uh Chef is nuts. Front Gubby hits the shot, not able to find the gritty. Here's Chef shoot scars, and there's the first goal. Has the lead. Chef, oh beautiful dangles. Oh my gosh. Paul, oh, put some parmesan on that one. Yeah. And today we're gonna be looking at four levels of bumping from noob to pro. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so for the first one, first level, we have Cheeky, a uh, CSGO YouTuber, and uh, he is the reason I don't have a diamond coin. Uh, anyway, uh, he is not going to have very good mechanics of this game, and the uh, main reason I want to show his gameplay is to show off sort of a, a concept where I see a lot of people not bumping effectively or giving up on the fights. And the concepts that I'm going to go over in the later levels are going to apply better if you have the mechanics to apply them. So if this is, looks like you, then uh, first thing you should be doing is making sure that uh, you're switching your camera as well as stopping, pressing hockey stop, whatever you have that bound to, and bumping and aiming for the body. Most of the time you're going to want to do this and... Uh, he doesn't really do any of that, so if this looks like you, make sure you're doing those three things, and then we can move on to the next tips. Alright, for our next level, we have Shark. He's a respectable plat 3, and he's going to be demonstrating a much better, a much higher level of gameplay than our last level, and we're just going to notice specifically, look at his bumps, look at everything he does right, and we're going to look at everything he does wrong as well. So there's three examples I'm going to go over specifically. Uh, they're not just cherry picked. I watched about 20 minutes of his gameplay and saw these come up many times. I just picked these three examples. And uh, there could be multiple reasons for why what he does, uh, but why he does what he does. But I'm going to go over things that I see a lot of people doing as well, especially in this range, and how they could fix it. So we go back to the first one. I'm going to tell you exactly what's wrong. I'm going to go over the clips specifically and explain why they're wrong. So after he gets this bump here, the puck's going to go towards him. And he's going to kind of, looks like he misses the puck, but he should be bumping uh, time to oof. Now uh, he shouldn't be going for the puck right away, right at that stop. He should be bumping him, stopping himself, and spinning around or counterclockwise, yeah. And uh, instead he just lets this happen, and now the other teams will be able to get possession off of this. He could have easily turned it into a shot attempt or a one on two if he just got the bump instead of trying to play it safe or just not even looking for the bump at all. As you can see in this next clip and all the other clips he has, he has this bad habit of just overshooting the puck and trying to avoid the bump while he's doing it. Now the goal of this is to try to beat his opponent to the, to the puck and take it back, uh, in this case specifically. But it's just not going to work the higher level you go. So if you find yourself doing this or you disagree with this statement, then um, really reconsider why you're doing what you're doing. Keep in mind that the idea isn't bad, just the way he's going about doing it is bad. So it, the execution is bad, but the idea is still the same. You want to get in there and take the puck back, uh, but you don't want to do it like this where you're overshooting it. Because then the opponents have a chance to get it back from you. And the third clip is kind of the same as the second clip. He's overshooting the puck, trying to avoid the bump. Now, this is a very specific example. Uh, it's very situational, uh, just ex a clip where he shouldn't be necessarily going even in front of Dangle. So, if you look at, pay attention to Hyvis's his, uh, his teammates' uh, positioning. He can get away with going behind uh, Dangle and stopping the pass. Top, uh, he ends up passing it back, and Definitely, if he was more aware of his teammates, which the tall ask, because it's, it's hard to be aware of your teammates, he would be a lot better off in this situation, and the other team would just not have the pass back, and they would gain possession more than likely. You want to pay attention to your teammates more, pay attention to where the arrows are, and trust that if the puck goes that direction, then your teammates will get it. To be clear, he should be taking a more direct line, not just a line around Dangled. So next is the SPL Open Scoring Leader, J-Man, and he does something that a lot of people do, especially lower ranks, because, well, quite frankly, you can get away with it, and it's something, this is what it is, it's not really getting far enough away from your opponent 
not creating enough space in order to get it get what you want out of the play so for, so for example in this play he does not get enough space between him and his opponent and he's not going to be able to get this pass off instead he's going to get bumped away now he keeps fighting for it but it's not just about keep fighting it's about not letting go of hockey stop or whatever you want to call it until the play is yours basically and that's something he should be doing more it should be less about timing and more about focusing hey is this guy out of the range of me and the puck if that's the case then i let go of space but until then you don't really want to let go and he does it well in other cases and abuses other people uh not doing this in this clip here and he should be acknowledging it himself all right that's it for me chef's gonna take it from here if you like the video leave a like and comment what skill you want to see next like he can the only thing he can do is pass it there really so like if he doesn't pass it i can like i'm safe to run at him so like i run at him and then like here he doesn't have the pass to maze he only he doesn't really have a pass at all actually yeah like if you look at where the teammate where my team there's not like a specific like here i'm kind of bumping just kind of to be like a nuisance like there's not like a like a really great reason for me to bump there like i could probably like if like it's just kind of more like when you like start to bump them in the net it, you're now now that's like it kind of in their heads and they think that you you could bump them and they start to like account for that and it can kind of like screw them up later on in this in like in this case like the kind of puck, puck just kind of bounces out and it's nice for me to like push it in i'm just responsible for covering the past of bombs here because noah's covering green and Meow sort of has um, bombs covered anyways, but that's probably the pass he's going to look for because um, Meow is the three here. So like, as long as I can cover that pass and try to like close distance, I'm doing well. In that case, I post the pass and try to pass it, and it, I was there to block it. So we stay in the zone, and that's nice. I mean, in this case, there's not. I don't really have to worry about any pass. But the only way he could do it is like off the board on the boards. But that's not super threatening. That's like very easy for one of my teammates to go and cover it. So like I, I don't really have to worry about the pass here. He also like the puck is like way too far away from him from him at this point for him to do anything. So I can kind of like go in and like make a play on the puck. So I I go and I hit him to the left, and that creates enough space for me to like take full possession of the puck rather than like if I didn't hit him, I probably could like get possession but he'd be much closer to me and i'd have to like do some board battle stuff to to actually get full possession of the puck and then now i have possession i can make a move and and i almost get a goal off of it